All right. So now I'm going to go 25 degrees cephalic tube angle. Say again? Yes, ma'am. I was hoping somebody was going to pick up on it. Now, what you need is I need your nose and your forehead on the table. And this is what I was talking about before. I can't really ascertain from this position what the alignment of his, his nose and whatnot structures. Those easily identified structures that's going to give me an inkling of, of his being perpendicular, right? But I can cheat. my hands right here on his ears. If my hands are parallel to the uh, table, then his mid-sagittal plane is going to be perpendicular. And this is exactly what I was talking about he before. He won't fit. <laughs> huh? He said he won't fit. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do that to patients? Yeah, sure. And this one's at the Indian. This is an Indian and down an inch and a half. So there's his Indian right there. So a knuckle and a half down. Okay. Okay. And note her shadow here. Right? Gotta kind of make sure where his hair is versus where his skull is. And make, make, make compensations on that. If I'm going specifically for the foramen magnum, dorsum cellae, posterior clinoids, that's fine because that's going to come out here in the middle. That's going to come out here in the middle. I don't care about that. But if I'm looking for skull, I'm looking for trauma, I'm looking for skull, and I'm concerned about this up here, this is where I was talking about before where you cheat. And <clears throat> we're going to slide up a little bit to make sure that we got vertex. So you should look for the shadow. Yeah, just basing, ju judging off the shadow. Okay? All right. Now, let's talk about.